So the next thing is I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to generate code or to MATLAB code for some of your processes or some mathematical expressions or some formulas in civil engineering or in any kind of engineering. You can start from the generic point of view then we can be very specific with some programs that some targeted functions or some targeted problems that you can use to generate the problem for us. But the, key, the background or the key thing is this chat GPT can write computer codes for you, whether it is C++ or C language or Python, or you can go as far as MATLAB and it's going to give you fantastic codes that you can easily apply depending on your case study. So let's say we ask a simple question, uh, write a code that plots temperature and wind speed. Write a code that plots temperature and wind speed. Write a code that plots temperature and wind speed. So let's see how it's going to handle this, okay? So here's an example in Python. So he chooses Python in this case. Uh, this is the import, okay? So this is just a sample data you can replace with your data. This is temperature and this is the wind sample data. And then you can see the plot. It's going to give you the plot, the code for the plotting. Let's see plot temperature with this level, plot wind with this level, and then it set the axis. Okay, so these are the axis, and then it gives you an example. After I show the plot, tells you about the plot or about the code. Okay, you can adjust the sample data to fit your specific needs. Okay, or, rep or replace it with your own data. So it, you can place it to, to fit in your code, or you can replace it depending on what kind of data you have. You can just copy the code by coming here and just clicking on copy the code. And you see the code has been copied. You can go to your Python and then paste this and you run and you can see your results. So uh, you can replace easily with any number or ascribe it to any case study. This is simple because this is just like generic and this is the beginning. Let's go a little bit more specific and this time around civil engineering with specifics in spillway design. So let's ask it another question. Can you write a MATLAB code for computing discharge over an OG spillway? See, can you write a MATLAB code for computing discharge over an OG spillway? So let's hear what it's going to say. Sure. Here's an example of MATLAB code for computing discharge over an OG spillway. So it gives you the inputs. Okay, these are user inputs. So you can get, see the length, the height, and some coefficients of discharge. These are just basics and then gravity and acceleration due to gravity. These are constants they give you and then you can go ahead with the calculation of the discharge. You can see the formula it's correct and display the results. This is how it's going to display the result directly. Okay, so this is the code for the result. And it gives you the, an explanation of what the code is all about and what are the... Um, this code calculates this chart over an OG spillway based on the user inputs of head over the spillway, okay, length of the spillway and discharge coefficient. These are the requirements that you need. And it gives you the exact, the further details, okay. The formula used to calculate the discharge is this formula. You can see it's very specific, where Q is a discharge, C is a discharge coefficient, L is the length of the spillway, and G is the acceleration due to gravity, and H is the head over the spillway. So these are parameters that are very specific to OG spillway, and the formula is is correct and is very fantastic. And then it tells you more about the result. The result is displayed in the MATLAB command window. You can see this is MATLAB command window, something like that. You can just adjust the values of H, L, and C to compute the discharge for different spillway configurations. Depending on what kind of con configuration you are working on, you can just adjust the values of these parameters to suit your course. But the bottom line is you can have a successful code written for you, and this is it. You can just copy, go ahead and copy this, and you can go to your MATLAB command and paste it and just click on run and you're going to run this program successfully. So this is the second step and it's a bit advanced, but let's go to a bit more advanced and much more specific question also. So the third question that we'll ask for this very composition is, can you write a MATLAB code uh, to compute phrases in a reinforced concrete, concrete water tank design. Can you write a MATLAB code to compute stresses in a reinforced concrete water tank design? So let's hear about this. What kind of parameters should we target? What kind of formula? Sure, here's an example of a MATLAB code. So you have the user, user inputs, the head, these are those uh, assumed inputs, the, the head, the radius of the tank, the design pressure, and compressive strength, yield strength, and covered 
to the reinforcement the diameter of the steel cover it just suggested all this and you can see the constants basic constants that you need and then you can see the calculation of the stresses you can see the bending moments the moments of inertia and then the compressive strength in concrete so you can see all the details given directly for you and you can just use this utilize this fantastically so after defining, I'm going to show you the calculation of the, of the stresses. These are the, these are the calculation of the stresses. All the formulas that you require are given. The sigma values and the tau values are all given in the expressions. And you can see display the results. These are the results, the code to display this part, the specific results that you're just targeting. Additionally, it gives you an explanation of what the code is all about. This code calculate the stresses in reinforced concrete of water tank design based on the user inputs of height of the tank, radius of the tank, design pressure, compressive strength of the concrete, wheel strength of steel reinforcement, cover to the reinforcement, and diameter of steel reinforcement. So these are key parameters that are required necessary to compute the stresses in this kind of reinforced concrete uh, water tank design. So the codes assume a value of acceleration due to gravity of this it has given you and a unit weight of concrete to work with this amount which is correct so this formula the formula used to calculate the stresses are uh, based on the principle of mechanics of materials the bending moments moments of inertia and the compressive strength in the concrete are used to calculate the strain in steel reinforcement which is then used to calculate the tensile stresses you can see the results are displayed in matlab command this is just an explanation for the explanation of the results and they are displayed in MATLAB command and you can easily copy all that and go to your MATLAB and just paste and run and you're going to have successful results. You just got, got to come over here to the top and just copy the code, go to your MATLAB command and just paste it. Okay, so you can see it's been successfully written. So ChatGPT is equipped and is really fantastic when it comes to code generation or code writing computer code using different kind of uh, computer pro uh, programming languages. You can just go ahead and give it a try and believe you me, you will have an exceptional experience with this very platform that gives you exceptional things. That does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.